Sorry, she was Sorry. just having a little chin wag with Paul. <laughs> hello, hello, Julia. How hello, are you everybody. doing? Hello, everyone. <laughs> um, right, so we have got a brand new one day special for you. Um, so this is a set of beautiful dyes by Jane Davenport. Jane herself. Davenport, yes, yeah, through Spellbinders. Mm -hmm. So uh, it, they're all uh, the dyes are in um, Jane's um, signature colour there, right. uh, not in the normal Spellbinders colour very quirky which yeah. is what Jane is known for mm -hmm. um, so if you didn't get the dyes because they're, they're not new to mm -hmm. her chandra they've been on before in various different configurations but obviously if you didn't get them before there's a fantastic one day special price and then of course because we're in this festive freezer freedom event you mm -hmm. get even better value we so it's like a win-win win-win-win so you're saving 17 pounds and nine pence um, on your one day special and 19 dies in total so if you're a freedom member 17 pounds and nine pence off but let's take another look shall we so we've got some um gorgeous feathers yeah fair feathers a set of four dies there so these are really good for your backgrounds or just um i mean i've i've used them behind uh the the head that's coming up you yep. know to make a headdress that's a good idea you know you can do all sorts of things everybody that's in mixed media will immediately know what to do with those yeah very nice and then we're moving on to this big big flower here this is the um something mum's the, the word mum's the word that's the wrong right. I knew that mum was in there because it's a chrysanthemum. Mum, mum, mum. Yeah, so yeah. you've got a chrysanthemum and you've got some leaves there. So that, that's useful for all sorts of card making, even if you're not into your mixed media and you just want to make some card making uh, cards out of them. Yep. That's a great die to have. A nice large die too. Yeah. Then we've got the muse. Yeah, I really like this one. So mm. you've got two dies there to cut out the, the head and I'll show you how, how it, it, it cuts because uh, there's, there's actually several combos that you can do, whether you have one die on its own yep. or whether you put the two dies together and then you've got the, the word muse as well. Okay. And then moving on to our middle one, so we've got some stars and some hearts. Yeah, this is You Are Unique, so, oh. so that's your sentiment that you can see with the one large die. Yeah. Those stars and the heart, uh, well, the stars um, will separate once you've cut them, right. so they're three separate stars. The, the lower heart die that you see, those are two separate hearts when they're cut, mm -hmm. and then the other two, which are more like a... a, a dotty heart if yeah. you like. Those two hearts are actually joined when oh, you cut them. Excellent. And then moving along, who doesn't love a unicorn? unicorn yeah. yeah, unicorn in Jane Davenport style, obviously. Mm -hmm. And you've got the kind of hills or whatever you want them to be, a border yeah. uh, with it. And then you've got the like hanging hearts to go with them, which are really useful to hang off anything, really. Cute. And look, there, here's a nice little sample I've with just, the UI Unique. I've just used the UI Unique. I must apologise. There aren't as many samples as I would have liked. Some of them have not arrived <laughs> um, but uh, I've got quite a few in my journal that I can show that's you that's great that's lovely um, but we'll really pull that over here oh yeah cool let's do you want to do that yeah let, let, let's find a few pages so we, let, let's find some that I've actually got there's one with the uh, muse there you are. shall I lift it up there we yeah. go Oh, yeah, she's beautiful isn't she she is yeah so mm. you can I've just used a pattern paper behind it yeah and then, and then oh, we've got unicorn. the unicorn there. That's adorable. <laughs> so I paper so pieced him a little bit yep. and um, used the uh, kind of hillocks, if you like, whatever they are. Oh, and then there's another great one here using the stars this time. Yeah, the stars and the you are unique and the muse again. Yep. I tend to like, I'm using the paints that are on the show, so there's lots of pinks and purples. I don't know where that one's going yet. I've, okay. I've, not, I've fallen out with it at the are moment. Are there any more? Yeah, there, oh, there oh, are look. a few, but whether, yeah, there's the unicorn. Oh. So you can see I've, I've extended it there because it's three hillocks. Yep. So I've cut a second one out and just used two of them. And you've got the hanging stars here. Mm. And then this sentiment die here is coming up and I've yep. just hung one of the hearts off of the bottom of it. Oh, that's cute. Brilliant stuff. So we'll have a little look a bit more a bit later on. Uh, now, just two payments of £22.93. pence. That is your freedom price so if you didn't get these previously now you can get them with that lovely festive freedom saving 898723 is your item number then we've got the classic collection again by Jane um, and you've got 17 stamps in total and again they're nice and quirky aren't they yeah these are nice and quirky and obviously you can use them with conjunction with your dyes and with all the other products that are on the show um, the unicorn is a, is a different um, unicorn to the die so they don't they're, they're, it's not meant to cut yeah. the die isn't meant to cut the stamp out um, but you've got lots of useful sentiments in there as well 
and the stars that that little row of stars is a really useful stamp oh that's so sweet I'm just trying to read the um, some of the sentiments life is more beautiful where, uh, when we share the journey oh that's lovely you I'm make me sparkle thanks. and then there's <laughs> the uh, peace love and art I think yes yes brilliant and believe in sparkle now the unicorn uh, is really lovely and stylized like, i feel like she should be in a beauty magazine yeah she, she's got quite a few curls yeah. in her mane hasn't she <laughs> and in her tail and look at those eyelashes yeah <laughs> she's got a lot of mascara on yeah, yeah that's cool and then coming up to the top row so we've got oh, a bit of palm trees yeah yeah that's that's quite a nice one that one i've actually got that i've got a sample of that one oh, i'll dig that good. one out for you and there's a lady she sat on a um a cocktail glass yeah isn't she me? is yeah yeah i've used um most of them just in this uh, piece here yeah that looks really pretty i'm liking that a lot really nice Thank you, Juliet. That's all right. And then we've got one more to have a little look at. Thank you, which is this one. With the little faces. Yeah. I think that's been, uh, when it's been on before with Leone, that's been quite a popular set. Right. So we're quite lucky to get that one back. Yeah, we are indeed. £26.98. pence. However, if you are a Freedom member, we've taken it to 24.98. Oh, sorry, 28. 24.28. Even better. 192222 is your item number. Now, this journal yes hmm. um so you've we've already been really busy for this it's your canvas journal and it's nine by 12 inches good sturdy cover which you could get yeah, to. yeah nice hardback cover so if you're into yep. things like your power techs any of your mixed media you can throw at that cover because it's a really really sturdy cover um so and the the the, the pages are they alternate between your hot pressed watercolor ah. card and your cold pressed watercolor card so you've got um texture on some of them and then yeah. you've got smooth surfaces on the other so oh, obviously yeah. you can stamp onto all of them mm -hmm. but um, if you're you're not a confident stamper then then you can go onto the smoother one having said that the the cold press pages give you lovely texture Ooh, to lovely. your background yeah um, this is always really popular and they are um, um, I mean I've just snipped to register out it's very very easy to just snip into the stitching and Good. to take just single pages out oh, if nice. you want to okay uh, really, really busy for this. Thirty pounds and ninety-nine pence. Uh, how many sheets did we say? Eighty-six. Eighty-six. Really yeah. good. Five two three two nine two. Then we move on to the power pastels. Mm. And uh, now we're already approaching 20% of the stock gone. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So you've had a little look for these. Yeah. There is. Um, um, I mean. <laughs> Obviously, you can see from the tin how Jane's used uh, used them. Mm -hmm. um, Jane's pictures are on all the packaging. Yeah. Um, so she uses them uh, combining with uh, her other products that she's got, with her paints and with her pens and all that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, there are some very useful YouTube videos that you can go and watch to show how to use this. I can't do faces. I know I, just because I haven't had to go at them and I haven't practiced and nobody showed me, so I can't do that. Mm -hmm. But. There are, I, I do, I've got a couple of techniques with them for backgrounds. Um, they're, they're like um, a crayon, and you can use them like a crayon, mm. um, which is how I'm going to use them. But uh, you, it is possible to build them up, and the more you, more layers you put on, the more they blend with each other in the lower layers. Mm -hmm. So uh, have a look at YouTube for some videos because they, they are quite okay. a useful thing to have. So is this with the crayons? Yeah, that's with uh, the no, crayons. Yes. Yeah, in Power pastels. Sorry. Pastels. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> no, we should. It's, me. Yeah, it's my fault. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So I've used them in the background there so I'll show, you, I'll show you how to do that this there because I've used the die cuts there as well to create mm -hmm. my background and I've also used some of the paints on the show and this is uh, again the same sort of thing uh, in the background but some different colours lovely colours too 25.99 but again lovely discount 20 pounds and 79 pence if you're a freedom member 604711 we are approaching a quarter of the stock gone then we come on to our ta-da girl mm, i quite like that yeah. sentiment yeah <laughs> ta-da you have to do that every time yeah yeah <laughs> we need one with boom don't we oh, I mean, boom. maybe leone will do a boom that would be but good yeah that would be good but yeah yeah so she's she's quite cute and she's great to feature on some of you your background pages absolutely i just love she's throwing her hands mm, in the air yeah yeah, uh, so that's, how, that's me. That is tomorrow at six o'clock. Is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, nine uh, nine pounds and fifty nine pence. Seven five eight zero three zero is your item number. Uh, then we've got the sea flower. This mm. is very pretty. Yeah, I really like this one. Yeah. Uh, I'll grab my journal because sure. I've I've used it in, in one of my journal pages, which was opposite my ah. here, which is here. Yep. So I've just cut them out uh, three times in pairs and put them down my page. Obviously 
they're using black card it makes them very dramatic but you can see they make a great background they do and they're a nice size as yeah, well yeah they are yeah really good size and that is nine pounds and 59 pence once more if you're a freedom member for two five two six eight and then last but not least but there is more on the website mm. we've got the sunflower journal die or set of dies got four dies here yeah. yeah so so i remember when um leone uh I think the only boy and she's definitely had that had it on here yeah um, so you've got the lines within it within the um, flower so mm. the idea is that you can write on, on it if oh, you okay. want to and I have done that for you in the beginning of my journal sorry there we go ah. I've got one there oh, that's cool so what I've done what you actually you've got the stem you've got the two leaves in, in it as well uh, and so I've paper pieced the leaves and I've actually paper pieced the inside there and yep. I've actually just written on the bits that I paper pieced in rather than rich, uh, writing on the um, journal itself so yep. you can do that sort of thing if you want to brilliant there you are 959 if you're a freedom member uh, 489588 is your item number got something else for you these are the acrylic paint pens there you go Julia getting busy for these you get black and white four in total two black two white 1699 390007 and you've got the broad and the fine nib so that's another good one uh, do give us a call 01733602000 or check out on the website at hachanda.com okay julia what right do do? um as the power pastels seem to be quite popular i think we'll start with those sure. um so you can get some idea of, of what they're like um so obviously uh, you'll see when G uh, leone's been working in the journals um and this one that she's i know she's worked in this one um you, c you can use your journal not necessarily for um, uh, creating uh, pieces of art but actually for noting mm. how things work and for testing them and, and whatever and, and, and doing your colour swatches. Yeah. So within your power pastels, um, here's my tin here. Um, you've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You've got 18 of colour colours, and then you've got a blending um, ah. pastel as well. You like that one? Yeah, I use that one quite <laughs> a lot. Yeah, yeah, than that one. Mm. Um, yes, but you can you can actually you just peel back the uh, paper just ah. like you would do normally uh, to use them further. So so you've got you've got those, and so I've swatched all of those, and you can see all the colours mm -hmm. now. They are quite waxy uh, and you, ca you can use your finger and kind of, you, you can get them to move a little bit. You can wet your finger and you can get them to move a little tiny bit mm -hmm. like that. So this is, this is why your journal's great because you can figure out what, yeah. you, what you can do with them. Um, here, I'm, I, I'll explain what I've done with that in, in just a moment, but that's again me testing out how, how I could work, get it to work. And then these are two pages um, which are with the power pastels. Mm -hmm. This is the technique I'm going to show you um, now um, and then this is me just doodling with the different colors of your um, pastels um, and using a piece of kitchen roll just to blend them a little bit oh, so right. that's uh, so so you don't have to use your fingers if you don't want to you can just use kitchen roll great stuff and then i've just gone over the top in a watercolor with one of the acrylic paints which we've also got on the show i've gone over with that one good um just a mention of our power pastels because we're 30 percent of the stock gone Right, so I'm now going to. I'll show you how to do this kind of background, which is the background that I've used on those two cards that right. are by the pair of pastels. So, so you know, I've left this one untouched, so you can see how it would look, and it's quite a good note to yourself. Mm. You don't always have to finish things in. That's why yeah. jour journaling is quite a, a freeing, freeing thing to do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> jinx as, yeah, the, as no. the kids would say <laughs> it is quite a freeing thing to do because there's no pressure to finish it if you don't like it you know like like my page that i've got here which i'm, I'm I, I knew where i was going but then i decided i didn't know afterwards <laughs> and, and i haven't done anything with it i've just left it right because a lot of the time if you come back to things you'll think oh yeah i can do that with it mm. or you just completely fall out with it you know you can just go over the top of it and cool. just start all over again it's not a problem mm -hmm. uh, because this paper will take it so we'll find ourselves a page. See, I've got a background there. I've started again for mopping up all your extra paints and mm. stuff. You know, you, it's a start of another page, so there's no pressure at all. So I'm going on one of these textured ones. It could be smooth or textured. See, that's very smooth. That's the textured one. Yep. Doesn't matter. And what I've done 
is I have taken, we use this one I think instead of, I've got two of them. Right. I've taken, this is the uh, mum's the word, mm -hmm. and I've cut it out five times and glued the die cut on top of each other. Oh. So it's now quite dimensional yeah. and deep. And I've done the same thing with one of the feathers here. Right. So these are um, going to be used in my background and I can also use them to stamp with as well. So that it's quite a, c a different way of using your dies. Lovely. Uh, the journal, stock-wise, what are we approaching? 30% gone as well. Mm. Right, let's go for, we'll go for this blue. So remember when you used to be at school, I don't know if you did, but when mm. I was at school we used to do brass rubbin. Oh, long time, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so this is the same thing. Aha. So, so you can, s can you see the leaf coming yeah. out there? Yeah. Yeah? Yep, perfect. So again, the, just, just move it go over again and you're starting to build yourself a background up mm. pressing down quite hard yep. to really pick up that detail of the die and 10% of the one day special is gone and we'll put one down here it doesn't matter if they overlap it makes me want to do this I've not done this for years I know <laughs> I, it's, what can I do that's different you yeah, know because because yeah. I mean obviously Leonie's done shows with this Jane's done shows as yeah. well and you know it's not the sort of thing that I would normally do mm. so how can I make it work for me yes for how you know I want to do things I don't want to be a Leonie well I'd love to be a Leonie <laughs> but you know there's no point copying somebody else, is yeah. there really? You just want to get inspiration. Mm. Yeah, that's right, yeah. So you can see you've got a random thing going on here. And with the fair feathers individually, um, that's on screen and 50%'s gone. Gosh. Mm. See, these are great backgrounds for... Th the kids could do this, you know? Yeah. Um, and for masculine cards as well. Good point. I like the way you're layering those, like how you're well, it's turning just, it. It's just random, isn't yeah. it? You could do, you could, you could actually do one, make it quicker for yourself if you wanted to, and cut all four feathers out mm. in the set and make yourself a bigger piece to work with. Yeah. But we go with that. I like okay. that. Okay. And obviously that's forever. You can use that mm. all the time. And I'm just going to fill in. See the texture that you get mm. with this beautiful card. This is obviously the cold press uh, card that's in the in the journal, and you can just fill in the gaps lightly mm -hmm. in between. I like that texture. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, that's nice. I do too. Now, if you left it like this, that would be absolutely fine. Wouldn't be a problem. Mm -hmm. And you could do the next step without actually doing anything, but you would have to think about what you were going to put on this side sure because it is quite um it feels like a wax right it isn't but it feels like a wax but you can take so remember what it looks like like that okay okay a piece of tissue right um kitchen roll and give it a rub oh that works oh i like that and that moves it around we're still keeping the definition of the leaves but what we're doing is is smoothing it out and blending the colour together and making it more, I think Tracy Evans would say cohesive. Ooh, I yes. think that probably what is what, what it is. Yeah. I don't know. It kind of it, it sounds like it that should be a word that works. <laughs> <laughs> That's looking really good. But really can you cool. see there's a definite difference yeah. to what it looked like before. Mm -hmm. Okay. So again we could stop there, but with um, mixed media and journaling it, it is all about the layers mm -hmm. you know and you and you could stop there and then the next page you could take a step further and then you've got like a, a layering journey going on yeah. if you wanted to yeah. but we're going to do something else i was just noticing i like the indents actually that's a that could be a feature now absolutely yeah absolutely no rules. Yeah, yeah no rules absolutely Right, so we're going to put a colour on top of here now. And I think I'm going to go with this one, because we've used the blue. And this is the Minty Fresh um, Sounds like toothpaste. Um, <laughs> acrylic paint right. that's uh, also on the show. And the details have just come onto screen. Uh, 11 .99 for the, And they're quite big, sizeable tubs, aren't they? they or bottles. Yeah, they yeah. are. It's uh, um, 89 millilitres or 3 US fluid ounces. Now, it says US fluid ounces. I don't know if the US fluid ounces are different to the UK fluid ounces. Probably. But 89 millilitres anyway. Yeah, there you are. 
and that's got a freedom discount as well but these discounts. are quite nice actually because they've got a nice little nozzle mm. so you can you can really control the amount of paint that you want to get out i'm yeah. just going to put on one to, one of uh, the indigo blue um paint mats did you get that from our dirty weekend i had them before actually <laughs> but yes they are they i've got the one from the dirty weekend that one's still dirty <laughs> Right, so I'm gonna. I want to water it down quite a lot because I don't. If you, it's acrylic paint, right. if you put acrylic paint on top of this, it will obliterate it. So if right. you put it on neat, it will cover it up. Okay. Okay. Um, so we want to make it into watercolor paint. Yeah. yeah? I see. That so sense. adding more water to it, and there's quite a lot of water here, means that it will act like a watercolor. So we're still. All we'll do is kind of add add some color. Nice wash. A ni exactly, yeah, nice wash. You see how uh, that's... It's only very pale, mm. but it adds something to it. I like watching it sort of seep in. It's like the page goes... Yeah. And drinks it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is, it's really good cardstock. Mm. Really good cardstock. I think Sandra quite liked me going... <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Sandra just found out there's a... What was it? A 4% difference from UK fluid ounces to US, if you like that sort of geeky knowledge. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, that, that's quite handy to yeah. know, isn't it? Oh, so, yeah. so but, it, but, but because they put 89 millilitres on there, that's all right. it, I think that's, that's fine, yeah. yeah. So just making sure I've got a good old coverage here Maybe. with my watercolour. You could, of course, use wa um, Jane's watercolours if mm. you wanted to, but with acrylics, all you've got to do is add a load of water and you yeah. make yourself a... a a paint. So there's my background all done. Now also notice that this, you know, the paint, the canvas hasn't uh, buckled or anything. You know, it's really taking mm. a lot of stuff. It does. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mm. mean, you know how much Leonie throws at it. So <laughs> kitchen sink. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, we can just we could just uh, get rid of this extra paint mm -hmm. over here. Give it a start little. ourselves another background going off. Yep. Save wasting it, doesn't it? Mm. Even if it's only a tiny bit, it's yeah. something. Lovely. So that's my background that I'm finished and that's what I wanted to show you. So then we yeah, could great. obviously go on further from that and we could add, you know, our, um, our face if we wanted Lovely to. Lady. You could bring her in. Mm -hmm. um, this is, if you cut the two dies together, you get that. Right. <laughs> and this. Nice silhouette. Oh, yeah, like that. Together. Yeah. Yeah. But if you cut them separately, then you'll get this. And this is waste from another technique, which mm -hmm. I'll show you in a moment. And the Muse on its own, a quarter of the stock's gone. 9.59 if you're a Freedom member, 409.934. But you could also kind of bring in the Tada. But you might want to bring in a lighter colour. So you might want to bring in, um, I don't know, the journaling flower. Oh, I like that That would one. be quite nice yeah. in there. Or you could bring in the, because um, we've used green in the background, we could mm. bring in the um, little unicorn. He could come in. <laughs> I love the tail as well. And yeah. yeah, it's lovely, it's isn't it? A little heart going on as well. Yeah. So you have a play. Yeah, Just have a play. Have a absolutely, play. absolutely. Okay. Right. Are we doing another one? Yes, I think so. Right, OK. Sandra's so not told me otherwise. Right, OK. <laughs> so we're going to still um, stick with the paints and we're going to start and uh, build ourselves another background okay. up, but with the paints. Now, I, I mentioned... Um, in fact, I'll go on to another textured one because I really like the textured ones mm. with the paints. Um, a, a few weeks ago, I went to a Seth Apter wor workshop. Right. And... Um, He's, he's very much into backgrounds and obviously he's a mixed media artist mm -hmm. and I know you, that uh, Impression and Obsession have a lot of his stamps right. uh, on her chanda. And so this is kind of based on one of his techniques, sure. um, uh, which he was happy for me to share. Obviously that's I need nice. to tell you that I got it from Seth, but yeah, it's no, kind nice. of an ad adaptation. Right, so we're going to lay some colour on. Where was the workshop out of? It was no, in Lindhurst, oh, okay. in the New Forest. Right, so I'm just going to add some dots neat. of paint okay. yeah neat and we're going to add so that one's the um ancient pages and then we're going to have some of the uh, minty fresh 
Um, does it stay like that if you don't do anything with it? As in, does it, it stay raised? Um, it will stay raised, yes. Mm -hmm. um, this one, this page here, can you feel that there? Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's when I've drizzled it on. I don't want to bring it down too far. No, that's, I've got, right. that's where I've drizzled it on and I was going to leave it nice and raised, but I wanted to get on with my journal. So I pushed the two pages together, mm -hmm. took them apart and then oh. spread the paint. But some of it had already started to set. Right. So that's why it's quite raised, but it's very textural. It mm. feels lovely. Yeah. Um, we'll probably do that at some point. Right. So what we're going to do is just spread the paint around. And we're not worried about full coverage. We're also not worried about white space or anything like that because we are talking layers. Right. I'll pull up a little bit more on because mm -hmm. this is quite a big journal. Yeah, it's such a good size. Yeah. Um, but busy for the journal as well. It's a really, because there's so many pages in it, you can really kind of explore your journaling journey in it. Yeah, there's 86 pages in, in total, £30.99, and, and it's your 9 by 12 canvas journal. Freedom price, 24 79 523 So we're really, we're really spreading this paint out, yep. picking up the texture of the page on a dry brush. Right. Yeah, it's very important to have a dry brush for this particular technique. I'm just going to get rid of the excess paint. Yep. And then I'm going to bring in another colour because it's Ooh. all about the layers. So obviously I'm only working with the four colours that we've got on the show. Sure. And I this is your, sorry, this one sorry. is your Look At Me Lilac. <laughs> and the other one I'm, is going to be I Love You Pink. Yep, so they come together, 11.99, 5.68. 098 and the other duo is at the bottom. Yeah. So again, putting nice. some of these on. Woo. <laughs> Here's this one quite a lot. They're lovely to paint with as well when I you bet. water them down. Halfway through the show. How did this happen? How rude. I know. No. <laughs> <laughs> again, so we're layering this on top. Yep. Don't worry about how, how it's looking just yet. Because we are building it up. Mm. Lush. Again, the, the, this is still dry, but you can see as you really kind of work the paintbrush, you're getting lines and textures and things. This is one of those techniques where you don't worry about having lines because lines add to the texture. Um, if you've got anything in your basket, just a little mention to check out and then you can enjoy the demos and then it's yours. It's winging its way to you. OK, so we're at, we're at <coughs> that point. Right. And at this point, our Seth, brings on some other texture. Now, I forgot to bring what I meant to bring, uh, which was some linen texture card, but I've taken a signature out of the book, mm -hmm. and so this is quite textured. So we'll try yeah. this and we'll see if this will work. So then what he does is he goes back to the original colours, so the bottom layer colours. So we're going to take a little bit of these ancient pages, mm. and I'm going to put some of that directly onto the texture card, and we'll see if it works. If it doesn't, then I'll try something else because I can definitely try something else. Maybe Ray Leone's room tomorrow. No, no, no. Well, I've, no, I've got some <laughs> bubble wrap that'll do as okay. well. Now, I like that colour there because it's mixed a bit. It's of mixed it. So, yeah, so now we can take this and... Oh, it's working. I can see some. Yeah, it, it's very subtle. In fact, we'll take a little bit more, put a little bit more on. Yeah. Obviously, if you've got a, if you've got a, a, a more varied amount of uh, colours, so if you've got light and dark, mm. then uh, of your paints rather than all pastels, then you're going to see it more vividly. Fifty percent of the canvas journal's gone. Oh yes, there yes. we go. That's good. So it's just about getting some texture in there and some lines. So we'll put a little bit of the other colour that we had on as well, the mm -hmm. minty fresh. And this is this is the piece that I used to cut that out. Oh, see, it looks really cool, that. Do you I want like to that. show that? Yes, I will. So you can see those layers going on with the paints. The and I've splattered on as well, yeah. yeah. splatters. Yeah. So again, we go in here. 
so we've got some really good lines going on there don't worry if there's spots or anything so you can see that that's really building up nicely mm. and this is coming on nicely as well yeah don't check it might yeah, oops, no, no for die cutting so that that's that's great and you can use it again and again and again and mm. again okay so now we are going to go with using our um uh, die cut stacks right. if you want yep. we'll call them die cut stacks so I'm going to take I'm going to take it right back I'm going to take some indigo blue gesso now right. put some into the lid mm -hmm. I'm sure you'll find that on the website yeah it, should, it will be it's always on the website yeah and I'm just going to take a normal brush and I'm just going to paint my die cut stack yeah don't don't put loads of paint on like i've just done because <laughs> you'll end up filling it in right and then when you come to do your brass rubbing kind of um technique then you're not going to get all the dimension right so but we can use that to stamp with to add some you hungry alex Sorry, bless no. you <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> no. I sometimes it rumbles and I'm not hungry. I don't oh know. No. So, but do you know, somebody once said if you, if it were also rumbles, it's because you're processing. See, I'm so involved in the <laughs> demo. That's what it is. So mm -hmm. look, we can go again and again. Look how much texture that adds. Yeah, it looks really and, good. And um, because you've got you've got the depth from the, the stack of die cuts. Mm -hmm. I'm loving that. Look at that. It's cool. See how that's building up? Yep, nice. And you could bring in, if you wanted to, you could bring some feathers in as well. But mm. but I'm happy with that. Yep. I, I'm going to just leave that and then we'll add to that after you, you probably I'll go need do to do numbers. your uh, <laughs> as we're half past. <laughs> I will. <laughs> right, here's the website so you can see everything that we've got. Some fantastic Jane Davenport um, items on there. Um, you can get the one day special items individually should you wish oh look at the muse she's got a five star review very very good we've also got some stamps you haven't yet seen some other dies so it's well worth checking out what we've got on the show now this is your one day special jane davenport dies they've been on before not in this configuration but what we were saying is you know if you missed out on these before we've now got your festive freedom price which were you know it's going to take the money down uh, so you've got your fair feathers, you've got your mum, chrysanthemum, mum, mum, mum. Um, really nice large die, that one. Um, and then you have got your unicorn, your stars, <coughs> with the your unique and the muse. Now, if you do want to go for them individually, we can break it down for you. So this is your fair feathers. Now, this is 50% gone individually, 11 99 It also has a freedom price. 700719 is your item number. There you go, nine pounds and 59 pence, but 50% gone on its own. Next, we've got the mums the word. If I lift this up, because also you didn't see those, you see, it's got the leaves as well that were hiding. So it's a nice large die. You know, just cutting this and layering on a card with a sentiment, you've got a card there and then. Now that's approaching 30% of the stock gone. 1499 at 230492. And it goes down to 11 99 if you're a Freedom member. Then we've got our happy little unicorn with the hills and the hanging hearts. Oh, she's adorable. I'm just assuming it's a she. 11 99 you get the four dies. Uh, 130860. And it's again, got everything's got a Freedom discount. Because we are in Festive Freedom, our event. There you are. There you go. Uh, £9.59 pence. Moving along, we've got our stars, your unique. I like that. You are unique, I should say. It's not got the abbreviation. And you've got the hearts as well. That one is 11 668 With your freedom discount, I believe it'll be £9 and some change. 59 pence, there it is. And you've got the muse, who's very, very beautiful. Um, again, we'll just get you the details for the muse. And it's 11 409 uh, So, but if you want to go for the whole one day special, um, it's got a really good price, plus it's got a freedom discount. Get all of them together for 50 pounds and 95 pence. But wait, if you are a freedom member, we've taken down to 45 pounds and 86 pence. And also um, FlexiBuy, have we got it on FlexiBuy? Yeah, we have, I thought so. There it is, two payments of £22.93, 898723. Now we've got some stamps. This is the classic collection. Again, they're Jane Davenport's and they're really nice. Got a quirky feel. 
We've got our holiday set of stamps. Te what's that say? T uh, take a mindful pause. Sorry, it's my eyesight. Take a mindful pause. And then you've got, she's lounging under the palm tree. Oh, I'd like to be there. It's freezing here. Um, you've got the clouds. I'm just going to lift it up, actually, the extras. Um, and you've got, <laughs> she's sat in the most giant cocktail glass. How cute. And then we've got our quirky faces next to next to that one. Look at their hairstyles. Awesome. And then going down to the bottom, uh, we've got some sentiments on there. Um, you make me sparkle. Uh, oh, sorry, you make life sparkle. Uh, it's a certain, and I love the stars actually on that too. Life is more beautiful when we share the journey. Ah, oh, very nice. And next up then you've got the <laughs> gorgeous unicorn who really looks like she's walking down a catwalk with her hair, with her mane, it's all flowing in the wind. She's, she's had her eyelashes done. Beautiful. £26.98 or again, freedom discount is £24.28. 192222. Then we've got the canvas journal. Um, lots of you are popping this in your baskets. 50% of the stock gone. It's got a really, really sturdy um, and hard spine as well. So you could throw lots of items at the cover. And then you've got 86 sheets. Some are hot pressed, half are hot pressed and half are cold pressed. So you get those different textures. But this is busy, 50% gone. £24.79 and pence if you're a Freedom member. 523. Nine, sorry, five two three two nine two. I think that's twenty percent off if you're a Freedom member, so that's good. Then we've got our power pastels. Again, these are by Jane Davenport. It, um, um, uh, Julie is going to be demonstrating these. Well, as long as they last throughout the course of uh, the twenty-four hours. But do have a look on Rewind at the start of this show because she was showing us some techniques there. Now we're approaching thirty percent of the stock gone. Twenty-five pounds and ninety-nine pence, and then though twenty pounds and seventy-nine pence if you're a Freedom member. What was the stock? Did you say, Sandro? Approaching thirty percent. Thank you. Six zero four seven one one, and then we've got our ta-da. I can't help it. I'm going to have to do that every time. Ta-da! Uh, <laughs> and it actually says ta-da as well. And this is 11.99, Your freedom price is 9.59. Next up, we've got our sea flower. I like these. They're quite pleasing to the eye. When you see them cut out, they're really lovely. These again are 11.99 or 9.59 if you're a freedom member. 425.268. And then last but not least, we've got our sunflower journal dies. These are kind of like they've got a scribbly feel, which are really cute. 11 99 Oh, wrong details. Oh, apologies. That's all right. It's same price, though. 11 99 but we just want the right item number, which is 489588. Or it's 959 if you're a Freedom member. Here's the website. Let's shimmy on down. Let's see what Julie's been doing. I heard the, I heard the heat gun. So she's up to something. <laughs> um, now, if you've got any questions to ask Julia, maybe you want Julia to try something else. You don't might try something out. You don't mind, do you, Julia? No, I don't mind. Yeah, that's nice. So you could um, send your questions to studio at hachanda.com or you can pop a little note on Facebook. What are you doing? Right, um, trying to decide what I'm going to do with this page, actually. So um, I think what we'll do is we will add some um, past power pastels to them. Have we still got some? Yes, we've still got some. Right, so I think what we might do is... Now, first of all, we do <laughs> some stamping. OK. <laughs> um, I'm going to add some pastels, but I think we'll just add, add some stamping. We've sure. got uh, the one that's got the stars on it. Yep. Um, oh, these, yes. Yeah, these. I like these stars. Um, so these are acrylic stamps. Grab a block. Oh, a I block can read that. the sentiments now because I've got them next to me. <laughs> yeah, you do that while I'm trying to find my block, which I did get out and now I can't find. Uh, peace, love, and art. There they are. You make life sparkle, and life is more beautiful when we share the journey. Nice. Right, so I'm going to use the um, Mermaid Tales Squid Ink. This again, Squid um, Ink. Yeah, Jane Davenport. And this is a hybrid ink. 
What does that mean? It means that you can, it's, it's a multi-surface, so um, I'll read what it says you can use it on. It's acid-free and archival, waterproof, mm -hmm. alcohol marker friendly once Ooh. dry, so Handy. you know, yeah. Um, fade and smear resistant, heat set on glass, uh, fabric, wood, plastic, metal and clay. Right. But you're not to take it internally. Is that actually on there? Yes. Yeah, well, that's good. Good advice. <laughs> Seeing as I was reading you. <laughs> Paul thinks that's funny. <laughs> well, I mean, I suppose it is called squid ink because the first thing I thought of was a nice paella. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or risotto. Yeah. Yeah. OK, so we're going to use the um, sea anemone, which, is, which tones in all the colours mm. of the um, squid ink that we've got on there tone in nicely. So I think we'll just add some... Um, I can't get it there because I didn't put it in the right place, but we'll, we'll move around to that bit. Just going to randomly put some on. Give it a good old press. Get the ink get in. Lovely. Yeah, and they are very, they're, they're forgiving because they're already a little bit grungy. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't, you know, if your stamping isn't brilliant, it honestly doesn't matter because the, these guys will help you out a lot. I'm just going to move that stamp over now because obviously I'm going to go near to the spine. Yeah. In fact, I need it the other way near to the spine. This is where I get my fingers all mucky. <laughs> uh, quick mention of these lovely pens. Acrylic paint pens getting too black and too white. 30% uh, gone, says water and fade proof. Water-based formula works on most surfaces. Matte opaque finish. And then I nearly went in to read the French, but I can't. <laughs> okay, <yeah. laughs> but 30% gone. 1699 So we're just randomly putting some... We're going to make a border in a moment. So... That, I do like that stamp. I like the little circles as well. Yeah, yeah. Like a little trail. Yeah, yeah. So, but like I say, they're very forgiving. Mm -hmm. So even though I'm, tam I'm stamping on this uh, textured card, it won't matter whether it's perfect. And because of the stars, it just kind of undulates really naturally. Good so, work. Yeah. Um, I have found that um, you can't watercolour with these, though. They right. were, it won't move to watercolour. So if you put some on, you, on your craft sheet, try and pick it up, you can't. Right. Uh, so that's one thing I have found. But it does work with an awful lot of things. So um, while that's kind of drying, we will actually use the Power Pastels. Um, what colour to use? That's always the difficult decision. Stop faffing, Julia. <laughs> right, OK, let's just do it. We'll just draw a line to begin with. Across there like that. <coughs> and then we'll draw another line up here. See, I'm not right in the middle mm -hmm. of my card, uh, of my card, because your eye is better. Something, you know, if you think about a gallery where yeah. people hang paintings, it's never right in the middle. It's always a little bit further oh, up. Nice. So, so it's better for the eye if you don't have it bang, slap bang in the middle. Right. If you accidentally do, it's your journey. It doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> so now I'm going to use this um, blending one. Oh, I'm intrigued. And so I'm just pulling the pastel out a little bit you see as, it, as mm. it's moving uh, you can uh, just scribble off um, any extra so you want to clean it again uh, so if you were moving it across different colors you can just scribble the color away and also if you're using all the others as well so mm. say if you're using your white on top of orange and you change the color just scribble on a spare piece of card okay so it just gives you a distorted border rather than the, the, the straight line border yeah, I like that. So it's very handy that that's in there. That yeah, very good. Yeah, because because you don't you wouldn't want this to be a colour. Mm. You you want it to be um, the clear. Yeah, yeah. And uh, now, if you want to go for your power pastels, they're proving very popular. Twenty five ninety nine, or with your freedom discount, I think it's twenty percent off, isn't it? Yeah, that's good. Twenty pounds and seventy nine pence. Six zero four seven one one. And if you when you're doing it, if you kind of pull it out to different uh, lengths mm, so, it, so it, it, it's not uniform because mm. like we were saying earlier you want to be free so you can look at my hand I've got um, ink on me now mm -hmm. um, that's all right um, you you want to be free you don't want to be, be restricted and make it so that it is uniform so yeah. you know really have a go at it so there's my distorted line that I've got going on there cool give that a bit of a 
a clean for next time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in here, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put my Muse, which I stuck to my background, yep. just glued it in place. But behind her, I'm going to put my chrysanthemum as a, a wacky headdress. Yeah, that's cool. I like okay. that. Yeah. So, but what I, I want to do is actually colour these stars in. And we've got some pens on the show. Right. Um... Uh, we've got some ultimate pens, Ooh. and this is the uh, silver is one, uh, which is called uh, Silver Screen. So these are beautiful Ooh. brush pen. I've got to give it a little squiggle there, so you can you can go thin and whatever. But they're, they're, I quite like colouring my stars in with it because it's got sparkle in it. Mm. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Oh yes. And you see, it, si it sits on top, but you can still see what you've got going on underneath. Oh, these are great. Now, it's not just the silver screen you get, but the aquadisiac, mm -hmm. that's right, that's right, um, black lace, $22.99, but there is that freedom discount. Ah, oh, lovely. I love the shape of them as well. Yes. I really like the style of the pens. Yeah, they are, they're lovely to hold. This, is, this, this one's a little bit different to the other ones. Yeah. Um, that's that's it. Our director just said they look like fancy mascara. Those are the <laughs> other two. Ah. Oh, sorry, I'm just, ooh. Do you want to squiggle? You oh, can I've squiggle just if you want to. I've myself. Uh, <laughs> I don't mind. I'm not precious about my really? journal. Yeah. Oh, this is lovely. Look at this. Well, you can see the colour. Don't draw on yourself like I have. <laughs> Where, no, it's, uh, do it wherever you like. I'm, I'm, I'm ooh, just playing. Nice. Isn't it? Isn't it lovely? <laughs> so you can use it to stuff. highlight if you want to. I just love colouring in the stars. I shouldn't really be doing all of that. That's them, all right, because I'm having a play now. <laughs> it's all good. Oh, can you see there? There you go. Nice. Aren't they lovely? Yeah. Yeah. So, so I can do all these stars underneath here afterwards because they are not in the way. So I'll just glue that down. Mm -hmm. Ten minutes. I'm having too much fun. <laughs> oh. Are you coming through next door as well? Do you want me to? Yeah, if you don't mind. Go on then. Thanks. <laughs> as it's you, as you've asked so nicely. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, so they are on screen twenty two ninety nine, but it also has a freedom discount. You get those lovely three pens. Uh, here it is, eighteen pounds and thirty nine pence. One six five four seven eight. Right. So we we'll add her headdress. When when is a chrysanthemum not a chrysanthemum? Is this a joke? When it's a headdress. Oh. <laughs> I, thought that's like, I thought you literally were launching into No, I head. don't do jokes. I can't remember jokes. Oh. So I can do, I'm one of those people that can remember the punchline, but not <laughs> anything leading up to it. So it's a bit of a waste of time, me telling jokes. Oh, fair enough. I just rely on being stupid, really. <laughs> right, OK, let's put that there. I should have taken your club in when we are in Brighton. You should not. I'm too old to go no, club in. Never too old. Too <laughs> old and decrepit? No. Right, so she's going to stick there. She will take a little bit of time to stick, but she will. Yeah. Okay. And then we could add, um, let's see, what's, what have we got here in sentiments? Mm -hmm. We could stamp one, of course, but I like, I mean, we've got Muse that we could use in one day special. So we could use that. Oh, lovely font. Yeah, it is a nice mm. font, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I mean, we could have, anyway, we could have... Um, some of these hanging off oh, yes. anyway and we can uh, scissors snip it cut one down so they're not both the same length so we could have those hanging down from there anyway mm. I look quite like that yeah so let's do that I'll need to colour in my other stars now you can do that that's all right okay um 20 percent of the one day special has now gone 50 pounds and 95 pence but of course if you're a freedom member we are celebrating festive freedom up until sunday at 6 p.m 45 pounds and 86 pence is the price and you can also um spread the cost on flexi by two payments of 22 pounds and 93 pence that's your freedom price 898723 i do like festive freedom it's good i wish yeah. we could do it all the time yeah i bought all my christmas presents from her chanda i've only bought my daughter stuff I don't think my son would welcome craft stuff, but, but yeah, bought coffee and all sorts of stuff. Nice. Yeah. Um, what were you saying? So, have you got decorations up? 
No, I don't. You don't do, do Christmas, either. that's right. I was just. Yeah. Well, I can't. The thing is, I can't put a Christmas tree up because my Christmas decorations are lodged in the garage underneath the landlord's sound system that is too heavy for oh. me to move. And Can't he come and move it? Well, he lives in uh, Brighton. Oh, he's down my neck of the woods. Yeah. Go on, give me his address. I'll <laughs> knock on his door and tell him to come <laughs> and shift the sound no. system. Well, my son could move it, but he won't move it because he doesn't want a Christmas tree up. Oh, fair so enough, fair enough. There, I'm scuppered, really. There's all my stars. I've done them now. Good. You've good. Right, so let's enough. do my heart. So we'll hang this and then my mm -hmm. page will be complete. It's a lovely page. I mean, we I, I could do borders. We could do, we could do a paint pen. We get the paint pen out as okay. well in a minute. We've got six minutes, so we've got time. Oh, okay, we'll we get the paint pen out. This well. looks uh, really pleasing to the eye. Well, it's I'm just, really enjoying it. You know, it. it is freeing. I didn't know where I was going. Uh, I, I as I told you, I didn't have any demos prepped. That's, I have, but not in my journal obviously because journals need to they're better if they're not planned you know you just need to go with it mm. okay so there we go there so we we'll get the paint pens out have i seen these paint pens like these ones oh nice okay so oh yes yes these. yeah so you it, so you've got two sets you've got um the colored ones ah. uh, which are lovely and then you've got the um, black and the white and both sets have two sizes of the, the colors that are in them yeah so i'm going to go for the smallest of the white one and when you when you get them like all paint pens the the the, the nib will be um like clear yeah or uh, opaque it won't be the color of the pen so you just need to kind of press it down until the colour comes down yeah. and always remember to shake it with the lid on. Okay. Uh, not with the lid off because you'll splat. So you get Unless it going. you want the splat. Unless you want the splat. So we're going to just do some waves. I love waves. Around the edges. Those are my doodles like that. Yeah, well, Please. not everybody's really comfortable with them. I'm not. Incidentally, if you're not comfortable with this, um, do you remember uh, I had Trudy Howard stamps on? Yeah. And she did doodle borders. She did, that's so right. So you could use those in your journal if you wanted to. Oops, don't go that way, June. I want some things that I can colour in. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to colour them all in. So I can use the paint pens, I can use the ultimate pens, mm. I can use the acrylic paint i can have a really good coloring in session obviously i'm not going to do all that now but you know we could just take a paint pen i'll just take one <coughs> is this one that one's not charged which <laughs> one's charged that one is that purple one mm. um details are on screen at the bottom of the screen for the colour ones. Oh, I've got them on the side now, so you can see. Only I've I've messed up that nib. Oh, yeah. We'll take it out and turn it round. Oh, that's good. And pretend that it's absolutely fine. There we go. <laughs> so you can use your paint pens to colour in with. You can use them to splat with. Mm. You can use them to draw with. You can actually <laughs> use them uh, onto your craft sheet and add water to it and do some water colouring right. with, which we'll probably do at eight o'clock. Um, so lots of things that you can do. A nice opaque coverage. Yeah. Oh, look at that rich this colour. This is your aphrodisiac. Af aquadisiac. <laughs> so we can just have a, a lot of fun just going around, colouring in with the various different things that we've got on the show. Nice. But I'll stop there because okay. we're uh, nearly out of time, aren't nearly we? Nearly out of time. Uh, I guess we'll, we'll, we'll just do a quick recap then to finish off. I don't, because, yeah, the last thing is you go too far and then you go, oh, not happy now. Yeah. No, it'll be fine. Yeah. All I'm, I'm going to do is colour in. That's good. Okay. <laughs> all right, here's the website. Here it is. So you can check out all of the lovely items we've got on the show. Um, there's some lovely dyes, fantastic stamps. Don't forget about the, ju the journal, uh, which has 86 pages in in total. Uh, hot pressed and smooth pressed pages that are in there and you can really as we are have been seeing splatter a lot of things at it yes, yes. <laughs> throw lots of things at it um so we're coming to the one day special it's got that jane that well because obviously it's her style yes, it's yeah. quite quirky yeah yeah i mean jane has got if you need any help at all she has got 
loads and loads and loads of videos on her YouTube channel. Right. You'll never be sure of any ideas what to do with the with the things mm. because you can, you know, tune into her and and and, and craft along with Jane. I know oh, Leone does it a lot of the time when she's doing one day specials. Mm. She'll be watching Jane's shows to see how she uses the product. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Can we have a look at your journal again? For yes, some of course you can. Samples that are in here. Is it alright to pick yeah, up? Yeah, absolutely. Do you yeah. have a little flick through? Yeah, absolutely. Where should we start? Wherever you want to. Is it wet though? Is that, am I going to ruin it, it? No, it'll be fine. You sure? Yeah, it'll be fine. Mm -hmm. You sure? Yeah, fine. Okay, fine. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, so we go. Ah. We've, got, we've got Muse on here. Muse on here. Let me turn this around. Look and the that. feathers. Yeah. And the beautiful. you are unique as well. Mm -hmm. We hey do yeah. have these stamps on the show, incidentally. They they are on. Um, they're from Stephanie also. Lowe. Yeah. There we go. And, and those are stamps. Uh, there's you know those are. Other one. Du, 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 du. Obviously, Pair that's the large dial in the background. Again, that's the muse again. Mm. Um, then we've got uh, the uh, unicorn here. In the hills. Yeah. Yeah. And we've got muse again. I do like her, and you are unique. And we've also got the um, stars going mm -hmm. on there. Um, those are some of the extra dies and stamps that we've got on the show. Lovely. Plus one of Jane's. Uh, we've got the um, Tada, oh, that's and the other one. Uh, we've got the hills there. Yep, yep. The unicorn obviously isn't the die, but you could use the die in the same way if you wanted to and paper piece sit back in. Mm. Um, and then the one that we've just done. Yay, lovely. Thank you, Julia. Lovely stuff. Uh, so the details, you can get these individually if you want to, um, but obviously you've got a really nice saving on the one day special and it's also on Flexi Buy. So you're getting our feathers, uh, the chrysanthemum, the unicorn, happy little unicorn, you are unique. I think that's such a nice sentiment, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, it was really nice. And the muse. Now you've got 19 dies in total. Oh, there's what, another sample with you are unique on. So that's more of a kind of a, a, a prettier version, I yeah. suppose, uh, because it uses um, uh, the, one of the extra backgrounds and the flowers that are also on the show. Yeah. But I've also used the, see, I've got the, the hearts there in the corner mm. and a paper piece, a black piece back in again. Yeah, it's such a good idea. I love that. And I like it with the drop shadow as well. Yeah. Now, with your freedom saving, it's £17.09. That's the saving. You're paying £45.86, but it is also on Flexi Buy. Here it is, two payments of £22.93. So if you're not a Freedom member, we'd thoroughly recommend you becoming one because there's so many savings. Mm. Everything on the show actually has a Freedom discount, which is wonderful. Uh, 898723 is your item number. Do call us 01733602000 or check out on the website at herchanda.com. Julia, thank you very much. I'll see you, see you next in door. A minute. Bring yes. some lovely goodies round for us. Okay. <laughs> there you go.